Hi there, this is Paul Thompson from Spitfire Audio. I'm very excited today to be able to show you the final part of our Phalanx range, Phalanx Bones. This is six excellent trombone players playing in the magnificent hall at Air Lindhurst. Um, three tenor trombones, two bass trombones and one contrabass trombone, all playing in unison. I'm not going to duplicate too much of the explanation of how the front panel works and how the controls work from the previous BML and Phalanx videos. So I'm going to dive straight in. I'm going to select, as you can see, we have the Easy Mix here, um, but you can just click on the spanner to get into the mic mixing mode. I'm going to set up a mix and I'm going to start with the short notes with the staccato here. I'm going to show you how these trombones sound. Have a listen to this. So pretty incredible sound. Let's have a quick flick through the microphones individually and then we'll dive into the other articulations. So here's the close mic. Here's the Decca tree. Here's the ambient mics. And here are the outriggers. So as you can hear, they're incredibly dynamic. So these, I'm going to put a little bit of a mix back together. These are the staccatos. Slightly longer notes are our tenutos. And as you can hear, you can, you've got the full range of dynamics in there as well. Our marcatos are the longest of the short notes. And then we have our multi-tongues. Now these are double, triple and quad-tongued. And there are two um, different types of um, multi-tongue articulations so if you play the keyboard softly you get a very tight end and if you play the keyboard harder you get a kind of accented longer end so check these out here so this is the double tongue this is controlled by the variation slider here so we're on double there triple in the middle and quad at the right hand end and the double tongue sounds like this So you can hear those two different variations in there. If we go for the triple tongue, it sounds like this. And then our quad tongue. So that's our multi-tongue patch. We have our rip upwards. So you can hear using the variation slider to select either the short or the longer ones. And here are our falls. So again, slightly shorter, slightly longer there. Now, if we go to our long notes, and you'll see that there are different couple of extra controls here. The release control again is explained in an earlier video. This allows you to select a much tighter, harder end or a, a much kind of longer, smoother release when you let go of the notes. So uh, main control here is the dynamics controlled by the mod wheel. And they sound like this.
and again if we flick the release right up to the maximum well nearly there you'll get a much smoother end sound like this that's if you want that really kind of uh, almost kind of synth like ending to the notes where it's a very much a longer slower fade out uh, into the release trigger so let's put that back and let's um, try a different mix here and just have a quick listen to these. Again, I'll play a couple of things. And then we've got our brassy quivre articulation, which sounds like this. So very, very full um, and, and brassy sound. And if we have a listen to our alternative mix here, put a tiny bit of the close into there. That sounds like this. So it's a beautiful, powerful sound there. So that shows you the basic core palette of the sounds and again within the individual brushes folder you have all of these separately which you can always load up in, instead of loading up the full palette if um, you want to do that. Purge used as ever will help you to lower the amount of memory that you're using as you deselect things that are deleted from the memory. Let's have a look at the performance palette. So the performance palette has two articulations, has the performance legato patch and the fanfare sculptor patch and the performance legato that sounds like this let's get the same mix up so we're listening to the same kind of sound So you can hear that very, very agile um, and also nice and beefy sound. If we go to the Fanfare Sculptor, this works in the same way as explained before. It's not really a patch that you would play and absolutely nail it on the first take because it requires a little bit of the tweaking of the velocities, but it gives you that slightly more realistic sound when you're trying to play very fast repeated notes as part of a um, a kind of fanfare type line. So I'm going to have a I'm going to have a go at playing it on the keyboard, so you can just get a rough idea. It sounds like this. So you get a rough idea of that. The idea with this patch is that you play in your part, and then um, according to the instructions in the manual, you tweak. And you can check out the manual for more detail on that. So that's the Bones Phalanx Library. I'm going to leave you with a quick blast from our Marcato's. Slightly different mix this time. In fact, let's put everything in. It sounds like this. Thanks very much for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.